The Lord adds and multiplies, but the devil subtracts and divides. And the devil lives in the realm of feelings, but we as saints should live in the realm of faith. Yes, we have feelings, but we need to go through that in faith. And, as Peter said, we ought to avoid Satan as a lion. We ought to dread him as a snake and fear him as an angel of light. Now, for my wife, the only good snake is the devil. Some of y'all probably agree with that. But, you know, we ought to watch him as, you know, the person, basically avoid him as a lion, dread him as a snake, but fear him as an angel of light. And the thing is, the person who is fully surrendered to the Lord will never surrender to the enemy. And so we have to be aware of that. There's a lady one time, the story goes, that uh, she lived close enough where she could walk to church. Got, got some age, her eyesight started going, and her hearing wasn't as good as it used to be, but she would still go to church, and she would sit, maybe she'd catch most of the sermon, maybe not, but, you know, she would go, and she couldn't, she, she had trouble reading, and uh, so she, but she could, you know, try and listen, hard reading, and somebody asked her one day, why in the world, you know, she, but she'd walk past her neighbors, go, go to church, and come back. And they asked her one day, why do you even go? You can hardly read. Your eyesight's going. You're hearing it, it, off and on. And, you know, you can't really hear everything. And why do you even bother? Why do you even go? You know, it, it seems like a waste of time. Just sit home and not worry about it. And she said, well, she says, I know, I'm, I, you know, I'm having some challenges. But she said, simply this, I want people to know whose side I'm on. As she went to church. And so, as we live our lives in faith, let's make sure that people know whose side we are on. Not Satan's side, but on God's side. Let's pray. Father, we thank you so much that as the enemy is here working in and among us and, and through different people, help us to see how he's working, to be aware. And as we read your word, and as we develop the mind of Christ, as Paul said, by knowing your word and reading it, and obeying you and following you, that we can see and discern what Satan, the enemy, and his demons, and people who are working with him are doing. And that we can, as Paul said, make that stand, to stand firm and to stand strong and to do what's right and to do what's good in the right way at the right time. And Jesus, thank you that you have enabled us to do that through what you've done for us on the cross, you were buried, you rose from the dead. And as we place our faith and our trust in you, you give us that grace and that we can share that with other people. In Jesus' name I pray.